joined in the studio by Paul Taval. And Paul, you are the president-elect of the Global Speakers Federation. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm going to use the acronym GSF because, you know, we were talking earlier about how there's so many acronyms and we do have to explain them so that yep. we, everyone doesn't get uh, confused. You have come to join us at the Professional Speakers Association conference. And can you explain to me a little bit about what the role is of the Global Speakers Federation yep. in terms of its relevance to the yeah. PSASA? We, we are a federation um, and we are a federation of national associations. So in 15 countries, we have an association for professional speakers. And we are the worldwide federation of those associations. So we're not serving individual speakers. We serve the national associations and we try to build new associations. Today I already spoke with Zimbabwe and Kenya to create new over, uh, associations in those countries. And that's our role. And, and Paul, what, is, what kind of state is the international speaking industry in? Is it growing? It's, it's growing and it's getting more value. Um, I think because of all the associations that are working together, uh, we can spread much more the news than when you do it as a single uh, national association. So we see a lot of speakers going international mm -hmm. and we can support them by telling where to go, who to meet in that other country and to create support and create international partnerships. So with Zoom, with other companies, so that we can be also of financial value to international speakers and to national speakers. So when you talk about not necessarily serving the individual, and now you've just told me that there is actually that opportunity to help support up and coming speakers who would like to go international. Yep. What, what is the, the route that people can take there? Should they be visiting your website to figure out opportunities perhaps that they can get through the Global Speakers Federation? Yeah, uh, the, the Global Speakers Federation.net website is really meant for association to put in their their events. Right. So when I want to travel to Namibia and South Africa, I go to that website and I can see what events are coming up. Uh -huh. I click on it and I go to the national website. So I see immediately in one shot where I can go, what I can do, um, and then meet the national people. Right. And the, the biggest um, possible impact is that you get to know people. Uh, I started 13 years ago, met Paul Dutois, met Steph Duplessis uh, and others. And then you think, oh my goodness, this is a nice world. I want to be part of it. So you know people in South Africa and you get to know people in Namibia and all over the world. So you have friends, you have the same language, you know what the International Federation is about. So you work together. And, and it's, it starts to build your own kind of business network absolutely. internationally within the speaking industry. Yeah, yeah, of course, everyone starts in their own national environment. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go to from, from here to Namibia right. and speak there. It's, it's quite easy and you meet people over there as well. Right. And I do it all the time. When I travel, I contact the embassy of my country, the Netherlands, in the country where I visit and say, hey, I'm coming, can I do anything with you together for Dutch people in South Africa? And oh, it that's works. that's wonderful. What a, that's a really, really great tip. I wonder how many people have ever thought of doing that. Well, I think there are a couple now, but the, because they know I do it. Right. Uh, but last week I was in Namibia, contacted the Dutch consul and ended up in a big room at the University of Namibia with 250 people in the room. So great networking opportunities there and great advice from Paul. Paul, one last question. What kind of new trends are you seeing in the international speaking environment? Um, a lot of people will say that we will use more social media. Mm -hmm. What I see is that the human being factor is becoming bigger and bigger. So it's much more important to have real people on stage telling the message. We saw some great examples here already. And then you see, we can do it by Zoom, but it's different. Right. We 
really need the physical contact, the phys physical fuel with people, the connection that makes speaking so great to do. And so powerful. That human connection, being in the room with someone and literally feeling the energy. Absolutely, that was what I was wanting to say. It's the energy that you feel. Yeah. And you, you can't, we had the story of Madeline Black. Yes. You can't hear that story on Zoom because there is no emotion in it. When you are in the room, you really feel it and then it, it's emotional. And that's what speaking is about. It's Absolutely. creating emotion and sharing emotion. I couldn't agree more. Paul Tavall, President-Elect of the Global Speakers Federation, thank you so much for thank being with us. Thank you very much. Us. Thanks for watching. We've got more interviews coming up with more keynote speakers.